another worse pandemic is on the way. The Lord gave me a revelation today, October 9, 2020, and I want to share it in this hour with you, because the Lord put in my heart to share it with you. Because I know that it comes from the Holy Spirit as He gives us a spirit of discernment to be able to discern what is of God and what is not, to be able to separate what comes from the Father and what does not come from Him. The Word of God teaches us in the book of Job 33 verse 14 to 18 For God speaks once, yes twice, yet man perceives it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on men, in slumberings on the bed, then he opens the ears of men, and seals their instruction, and many times we don't want to hear the counsel of God. We are so attached to the pleasures of this world, that we do not want to hear the advice of God. Let's listen to the advice of the Holy Spirit. Today, October 9th, this year 2020, the Lord showed me a dream where I left my house. And when I looked towards the street, I began to see many people who went out of their home in fear. I was filled with fright and awe. I shuddered when I listened to a person saying a disease has come out and is spreading. There is one more disease that has made its way through the land. I was made aware that there was another pandemic that has come out of the land. When that person spoke these words, my spirit shattered. I could feel my flesh shuddered. I began to see that people started to get infected with another epidemic that did come out on the earth. And I could look at the following factor. I could see people's mouth with many boils. And I remember that I could see that their lips that were full of pimples, and their faces began to fill with boils. And already those boils became sores. I said, this looks like leprosy. That was what I said in the dream. I remember that people said, Many diseases are sprouting in the land, where are we going to hide and what will we do? I was filled with fear looking at people's mouths and their lips that were full of pimples and those boils that had turned into ulcers as their pimples kept running down with their skin and the infection got in part of the body where it became sores similar to leprosy. God speaks to us in many ways. As we are living at the end of time, things are not going to be better. Things are going to get worse. We can get out of an epidemic, but another will come to us. May the Lord cover us with his precious blood. We can leave this sickness right now we are going through presently. But God will allow another one worse, for we are in times of punishment, punishments by the sword of Jehovah, for God has spoken to us in many ways, but we as humans have become deaf ears. And we don't want to hear the advice of God, mocking the advice of God. Many times we all say it is written, but we don't put it into practice. We want a person to come to us saying a prophetic word and things that will happen. These people are the ones that are full of adultery and sin. And the word says, no fornicator, no adulterer will enter the kingdom of heaven. God used many ways to talk to us. He is the sovereign, and he does what he wants, with whom he wants and when he wants. My beloved brother. We are in days of punishment where God is punishing man for wickedness. God is punishing many for their rebellion. And may God give us strength because God gave me to understand that worse things are coming for the whole world. I do not know how long it will take for this word to be fulfilled but what I do know is that it will be fulfilled. When I was in Brazil, God gave me one revelation. I saw in a vision how Brazil was filled with an epidemic of a disease, and many were infected. I saw in the hospitals, they were filling, there were no spaces for the sick. It started like that disease. And it also expanded in many countries like America and Mexico. The videos of the vision are stored all on YouTube and were published in 2018. I was in Brazil in 2018. And those who were in that event won't let me rest, for I had to share what the Lord told me that the disease was coming and many would be infected. And that disease is going to expand in many places. It will spread over many, many countries. Worse things are ahead for the world. Things that the eye has not seen will begin to happen. Things we haven't heard, because time is finished. Time ran out. God's mercy and love are exhausting. Christ is coming. We are in times of punishment for sin because of the combination of disobedience and rebellion. Clean up, church, stand firm. No looking back. 
Keep searching holiness. Seek God while he can be found.